What's up guys, my name is Max Powell and today I'm going to do an in-depth review of the new KM3 Mud Terrain tire. Behind me is my third gen Toyota Tacoma and it has been equipped with the KM3 Mud Terrain for about six months now. I'm extremely excited to bring this review to you guys. I think this is a very unique opportunity that I have. Uh, I've been able to put over 10,000 miles on these KM3s before they've even released. I was able to get a hold of a set of these tires because I was in the hype video that you guys have seen circling the internet. Uh, they wanted a Toyota Tacoma to be in the video to kind of represent for the Toyota guys out there. And uh, I was fortunate enough to be able to do that. So they had me come down to California. They outfitted the truck with uh, KM3s with these method wheels. And uh, I've been running them ever since. So I've put about 10,000 miles on them. And they've seen every type of terrain you could possibly think of. I've had these things in snow, ice, we've had them in the dunes, we've had them on the beach, we've had them over rough, rocky terrain, and of course, in real slippery mud. When looking at the KM3, the first thing you notice is just the new, awesome, aggressive tread pattern that they've put on it. These are just really a good looking tire. Uh, you can't get away from it. They look awesome. In my experience, I've actually found that they're much more than just a good looking tire. They're actually really awesome performers. BF Goodrich has dumped a lot of technology into these new tires. I can assure you guys, this is not the KM2 just rebranded. These new mud terrains have 5% better mud traction, 8% better traction on dry rocks, and 29% I think, or is it 28 or 27% stronger sidewall. Somewhere in there, I'll put the actual numbers up, but just really, really impressive upgrades to an already awesome tire. When we're looking at the tire, you can see that they're equipped with these, what BF Goodrich calls mud phobic bars. So mud, these are called the mud phobic bars. And what they do is they make sure that the mud doesn't create a suction cup inside of these big heavy lugs. And uh, it helps swing the mud out so you don't get that balled up tire effect. Essentially, once your tires ball up with mud, they're useless. You might as well be running drag slicks. I also want everyone watching to take a real close look at the wear on these tires. So these tires have well over 10,000 miles, probably closer to 12, maybe 13,000 now. Although you can definitely see some little nicks here and there um, and some scrapes, that's mainly from from spinning my tires on very sharp rocks, but the wear has just been phenomenal. That tire has tons and tons of abuse, 10,000 miles or more, and this is a brand new tire. You can see that they're, they kind of have these square lugs, which is a little bit of a throwback to the, the KM2, but with that new look to it that kind of reminds you of the KO2. When driving on gravel roads, the tires feel very planted, actually. Uh, they feel really similar to the, the KO2. They don't dance around. It doesn't feel like you're on a big boat, or they don't have that sway or wobble that a lot of like real tall mud terrain tires have. And I think a lot of that has to do with the, uh, the really strong sidewall protection. Uh, it allows you to air down. It makes it pretty smooth while going over these like washboard roads. So when I first got these tires, everyone wanted to know how loud are the tires on the road. And uh, my truck isn't the best comparison for road noise because I have a loud uh, roof rack and I have a pretty loud exhaust. Desiree would remember this. Uh, when we first put the tires on, when we were in California, we switched from our KO2s to our KM3s. And when we first started driving around to uh, kind of get a feel for what they, what they felt like and to see if we had any rubbing issues, I was amazed and super stoked uh, about how smooth they were on the road. Usually you get kind of like a bumpy feeling um, and then a lot of like whirling and noise, a lot of like vibration. It actually was very comparable to the, the KO2, which is pretty amazing. Don't drop that on your toes. Sterling, what's this? So on the topic of road noise, we were actually so satisfied with the tire when we first put it on the truck that we decided to keep the KM3s on the truck for the whole ride back from California, which is about 2,000 miles. Our original plan was to switch back to our KO2s so that we didn't have that loud rumbling road noise, uh, but they drove so well uh, that we just decided to leave them on, and they've been on ever since. We saw a little bit of drop in gas mileage, um, but really not a lot. It was 
we went from getting about 15 to 16 miles per gallon to 14 to 15 um, and we actually stepped up the tire size so I don't think it has a lot to do with the tread pattern as much as it does with the uh, just the overall size and weight of the tire so there's no doubt that the KM3 tire has a lot of new technology dumped into it and it's a great looking tire but what are its shortcomings well in fact I actually had kind of a hard time making this video for quite a long time because I couldn't really come up with any negatives and I don't want to put out a video just glorifying a tire or really any product I, I do try to find the uh, the shortcomings and uh, really I haven't really been able to find anything that really sticks out uh, I've been able to air these down to 8 psi and still keep them on the wheel without a beadlock uh, I did witness a, a guy pop a bead on his KM3s while doing like mad donuts in the sand uh, and he was aired way down way 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 down and they did pop off but there was no damage to the tire at all I think they just dug it out from underneath and reinflated it and it was good to go again so let's talk a little bit more about the, the different terrains that I've tackled with these tires uh, they really stood out in deep slushy wet snow where the KO2 wouldn't have prevailed so we actually towed a really big heavy army military trailer way up deep into the mountains in about two to three feet of really wet slushy snow you really couldn't get any grip on it this stuff at all and the tires did really really good they didn't ball up at all uh, they always seemed to find traction when there was none and uh, it was pretty amazing that we were able to pull such a heavy trailer fully loaded with a fully loaded truck uphill uh, with no chains whatsoever just these tires and we didn't even air down that was the amazing part about it where these fall short would be like icy roads or very light snow that's when the ko2 is going to take over and do a little bit better so let's talk about mud since this is a mud terrain tire you know you've got yourself an awesome tire when you totally forget about traction right that's kind of what i noticed when i was running these tires is i just was having fun i didn't even think about it we were on a really slippery muddy trails and uh and we were just enjoying ourselves. I didn't think about the tires, really. Yeah, I just kind of forgot about them. And that's an awesome example of why these tires are great. They're just there for your protection and your safety, and they're keeping you safe on the trail, providing tons of traction. Compared to the all-terrain tire that I've had in the past, these tires just did a lot better in the mud. Uh, I haven't had any issues in the mud. I haven't been stuck yet at all. Uh, I've never seen them ball up or cake up, and so far they've just been, they've been so good that you just kind of forget that they're there, and they're just doing their job, and you're having fun, enjoying yourself. So these are certainly a mud terrain tire, but as you can see, they, they do great in pretty much any terrain and they're even pretty decent on the road of course I could be biased you know these guys gave me free tires so of course I'm gonna to want to say nice things about them right all this information is going off of my personal experience they are just all around a great tire and I think that the technology these days are allowing us to have these really awesome products so as someone who takes my family and my little kids like deep into the woods and into the extreme elements uh, I really put a lot of faith in these tires to get us there and back safely uh, I I think that the BFG family has, has really put in a lot of effort in these tires and I 100% trust them with the safety of my family and I would recommend them to anybody. After about six months of running the tire and almost 10,000 miles, I'm 100% sold on the KM3. Uh, it is an awesome all around tire. These tires can, can take you places that no other tire can and I'm talking thousands of miles away. If you want to travel long distance on a mud terrain tire, this is the tire to do it. They're very quiet on the road. You still get decent gas mileage. They hold up very well. They're extremely durable and they can tackle just about anything you throw at it.
we are planning on buying a new tire, it's really important to figure out what exactly you're going to be using that tire for, or your, uh, your vehicle for, at least. And for us, having this particular tire has been so useful for our snow and dirt and all the things Max tries to get us stuck in. If you don't have an awesome tire that you can trust and depend on, then your, your rig is really useless. There's no point in getting miles and miles out to a, a trail or even a forest service road and then come to find that you have a pop tire. Because it doesn't matter how cool your truck looks, if your tires suck, you're gonna get stuck in the mud and then your wife's gonna be pissed and your baby's gonna start crying, you're screwed. Then you're screwed! Man, I can't talk today. So tough. Get out of here. Get that out of here. This is a serious video. Oh.